Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to another park. Today we are back at Disney's Animal Kingdom. It has been quite a while since I've been here since January. And if I'm not mistaken, the last time I was at this park, Expedition Everest was open. Now it is currently closed for refurbishment, which feels very strange because every time that I go here, I always ride Expedition Everest. So it is kind of bizarre, but we're here. We still got plenty of other rides to do, of course. Got Pandora, I've already got time for Flight of Passage. So that's all good. I haven't been on Flight of Passage since November. So I'm excited to get back on Flight of Passage. But then also um, there's some other rides like Navi River Journey, the Kilimanjaro Safari, the River Rapids, Dinosaur, there's a bunch of other attractions. So you know what? Let's go ahead and get started with our day. So I decided to get a little start off over at Navi River Journey since it's only a 20 minute wait. Be a good first ride of the day. And Flight of Passage is already 105 minutes. That just shows you how popular Flight of Passage is. And they're not wrong, Fly Passage is an absolutely incredible attraction. There's, oh, I'm sorry, every time I see this, I just get chills. Like, it is so beautiful. Oh, man. So, yeah, I'd say if it's, oh, if it's only a 20 minute wait, why not start with the Navi River Journey? And then I'd say maybe afterwards, let's go ahead and do Kilimanjaro. So, yeah. But I love this view so much. I find it funny that the first ride we ride today, it just, it breaks down. <laughs> but at least we get to see these beautiful lights and beautiful scenery. Man, so we just did the Navi River journey and that ride is just so beautiful. Literally from like when you start like the scenery is just so vibrant colorful and the ride is just it's not very like it's not intense at all it's a very tame attraction but it's just so gorgeous I love the music and yeah so not River journey it was definitely worth waiting about 25 minutes and the, yeah the wait time was not bad at all too so yeah next up um so my light line for flight of passage is in like 30 minutes so we go ahead and check out Kilimanjaro Safari since I don't want to go all the way back to Dinosaur Cali and then come back over here. Uh, if, if only Everest were open, then I'd do that next. But uh, yeah, let's go over and take a look at what Kilimanjaro Safari is doing right now. On second thought, I might just get a line lane for that one later. So I was looking at the app and Cali River Rapids and Dinosaur both have five minute waits. So before Flight Passage, might as well just do those and then uh, go over and write Flight Passage. Because maybe then from what I can do, maybe we can re-ride Dinosaur, one of those attractions, like later before uh, Kilimanjaro. See, look at this. Rapids is only a five minute wait. That is awesome. I feel weird because I just rode Infinity Falls yesterday. So let's go ahead and hop in line. Five minute wait. Dude, like, I got absolutely drenched on Calgary Rapids, but like, it's Calgary Rapids is one ride that I personally feel like it gets too much hate. Like, I think it's a really good ride for like the theming and everything, despite it being just a little bit short. But overall, just a really fun Rapids ride. Um, we'll not get to ride uh, Popeyes because uh, that is currently closed for maintenance right now as well. So yeah, all in all, um, my lighting name for Fly Passage is in a few minutes, but to kill time, let's go visit Dr. Seeker. Yo, this is so weird. Like walking through the Expedition Everest Plaza and there's no one here because the attraction's closed. This is the strangest thing ever. Like, because every time you go to Expedition Everest, it's usually, there's like mobs of crowds everywhere trying to get on the ride, but guess not. It is uh, closed for seasonal maintenance or just refurbishment. They're refreshing the ride. No, the Yeti is not getting fixed, but this is absolutely bizarre, just seeing this attraction closed. But hey, at least Hagrid's exists, which is kind of similar to Everest. So yeah, at least we still have uh, Hagrid's over at Universal. Like this whole mountain is literally silent right now. Like you can't hear a single thing going on inside Expedition Everest. But hopefully in a couple months, we'll get this attraction back up and running. All right guys, only a 10 minute wait for Dinosaur. Let's go worship Dr. Seeker. Guys, it's Bill and I, the science guy. It stands to reason that I can bring back a live dinosaur with you. And not just any dinosaur, 
Take a look at this guy. He's in Guanabella. And I'm certain that he is the key to understanding. The amount of detail like they put into this land is just insane. We're about to go and ride Avatar Flight of Passage. So like, yeah, I also had a quick breakfast at a, one of the specialty drinks and then a cookie for breakfast because, because I was close by Joffrey, so why not? But um, yeah, we're going to go on Flight of Passage and then afterwards I'll go ahead and try to get a time for the safari ride. And then depending on the time, I'll either do like tough, it's tough to be a bug or maybe uh Maybe like have an early lunch at the Siltoli Canteen. Yeah. But yeah, let's go ride Avatar Fly of Passage. This ride is incredible. On the backs of banshees since their earliest history. Thanks to science, avatars can ride on banshees too. That's why you're linking to an avatar. It was Dr. Ogden who restarted the avatar program. It's because of her that you're able to go through this ride. And from the Pandora Conservation Initiative, you're about to experience a ceremony that's very special to the Navi, flying on the back of an Ikran, or as we call it, a Banshee. To the Navi, connecting to an Ikran and flying on its back is an incredibly important rite of passage they call Ikni Maya. With permission from the Navi. Okay, so I just rode Avatar Fly of Passage. The first time that I rode since November, and this is also the first time they rode in a while where you didn't have to wear a mask. and. Oh my gosh, that's all I have to say. Like, this thing with all the effects working, like everything, the smell, it is absolutely incredible. Like, there is no doubt in my mind that this is absolutely one of the best rides ever created. Like, of course, Rise is my all time favorite attraction, period, but this is absolutely up there. Like, this thing is so just the one word I would describe this ride is beautiful. That's all. So I got my time for Kilimanjaro Safari. And so I'm going to go ahead and mobile order at the Santoli Canteen. Go to Baby, baby Grab early, early lunch. Yeah, so let's go ahead and do that. All right, so I went with an earlier lunch. Just to kind of relax a little bit while I'm waiting for Kilimanjaro Safari. So I got the cheeseburger pods again and got some chips. And I got this drink that looks really good. So I'll let you guys know how it is. Here's a fun fact over here. So this says Harambe Theater, right? But fun fact, when the Cincinnati Bengals went to the Super Bowl, they said they would win it for Harambe. But unfortunately, they did not. So, what are you doing, Cincinnati? Also, how's my lunch at Satoli Canteen? I thought it was pretty good. Um, I really liked the little drink that I got too with the pineapple. That was really good. Very, like, felt very natural. And then also, um, the food, the cheeseburger pods, I've had those before, they're really good. And I thought it was a th or two sides of vegetable chips. They just gave you like normal potato chips. But I mean, I just ate it ways because I'm trying to eat a little healthier, but um, so yeah, it was pretty good. Great meal. Um, let's go ahead and hop on Kilimanjaro Safari. All right, there's more on the left as well. So a bunch of hippos around. So a couple on the right, a couple on the left. Now this is where you're gonna find hippos doing the majority of the time is sleeping partially or completely submerged in the water. Egg regular. Look, also, there's a bunch a of giraffes. giraffes. No way. Alrighty, after uh, going through Africa, let's go through the Maharaja jungle truck and try to find some tigers. Alrighty guys, that'll do it today from Disney's Animal Kingdom. This was a fun morning, afternoon here at Disney's Animal Kingdom. I'm about to start like um, to continue my next part of the day over at Magic Kingdom, which I'm gonna do in more of a separate vlog. So it's not gonna be this vlog, it's gonna be a separate vlog. Um, but yeah, this park is still fabulous even without an Expedition Everest, but I mean, Flight Passage was incredible and there's some other rides that are awesome. It's next going to do the Safari, seeing Dr. Seeker, so yeah. That's gonna end this video. We hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to give it a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more videos in the future if you enjoy this one. And don't forget to turn on the post notifications so you know when I upload a new video. Also, don't forget to check out Theme Park Guy Productions on all social media platforms, Instagram, TikTok, TikTok, Discord. Go check it out, cause like, why wouldn't you guys? I'll see you guys next time, and you're clear for dispatch.